Hello everyone, and today I'm starting a new series where I look at managers who have failed at certain clubs and I will be saying why they failed. In each video I will show you footballers opinions, fans opinions, then my own opinion backed up with facts and then at the end of the video we should know why truly did Devon Moyes fail at Manchester United. First I'm going to give you players opinions. I'm going to say what Ryan Giggs, Rio Fernand and Village all said about why they think Moyes failed at Man United. Ryan Giggs said There are two ways of looking at a job Devon Moyes inherited. Usually a new manager takes charge of a team that's struggling or has a bad run of games. Instead he was taking over the champions. But also had a team with some key players coming to the, towards the end of their career at the club. With Fernand Vidic, Patrice Evra, myself. We're all approaching the end in one way or another. And that would obviously be difficult for any manager coming in. Plus, every coach wants to put their own stamp on a team. Rui Fernand said, Even the mindset in one of the training sessions, I hope I'm not speaking out of line towards David Moyes, but our mindset under Alex Ferguson, we never worried about the opposition. We never, we never set ourselves up and said, we need to contain this and contain that. We are going to go and try and win the game based on what we're good at. Rio Fernand didn't acknowledge the scale of the job David Moyes faced, but the change in attitude confused a squad who had just won the Premier League. He said, You have to remember, he was filling massive shoes. I remember the first couple of games we played against Liverpool and Chelsea, and we spent more time talking about Hazard and Coutinho than we was about our own attacking tactics. So there's doubt. Players looked at each other and said, This ain't us. We're not used to this. And you can see even the younger players looking around go, oh, we're the better team here. We won the league last year. We believe we can beat them. Person on the front foot unless it go out and attack them. That mindset came from being an Everton manager. David Moyes played in big games, first not to get beat and see what he then can then see what he can get out of the game. Whereas we have always been on the front foot on the folks. And yes, we contain some teams, especially in the way from home, but still with the mentality that we're going to go out there and win. Vidic said, I think it was a very difficult job for him. I wanted him to succeed for me also because we all wanted to show that it's possible to achieve without, without Sir Alex Ferguson. But unfortunately lots of things happened. David Moyes wanted the best, he tried a lot, he didn't sleep, he had one or two hours sleep so he obviously wanted the best. We just, we was, we had difficult times together. But I respect him as a person because I know he wanted it the best and he tried his best. In the end it didn't happen. I think because he wanted it so bad sometimes he was thinking too much about decisions and he didn't trust his instinct. Sometimes with too much information it's very difficult for him to take the right decision. Next I'm going to give you fans opinion. I found a video from Telegraph on YouTube in which they interviewed many fans. I can't use all of their quotes however. I will use the first and last person to show you, but I do urge you all to go and watch the minute long video that's linked down below. So this is what the first person said, we've got a class team there and we should be playing better football. Clearly he's not happy. Then the last person said, I'm a bit disappointed, I thought things were getting better, next season I would have thought things would be a lot better. So with these two people you can see there was definitely a divide between two fan base. one thinking he deserves more time. And it was getting actually progressively better. Another was a bit more to the sh just straight on with it and said, We've got a class team now, and we should be playing, playing better football. So, finally, and most important is my opinion. I say, before looking into the facts, into everything deeper, I thought Don Ways was sacked too early and he was kind of sapped third. So, I'm going to look into the facts and show you some stuff and give you my final opinion. On why David Moyes failed. Age of the squad was 25. However, I think when looking at the team, you can see we had lots of players come off the core coming to the end, and simply the youngest was not good enough. David Moyes, before he came to Man United, only been to one final in his managing career. This was in 2009 FA Cup against Chelsea in a 2 1 loss. At Everton, Moyes' highest level in Europe was in Champions League qualification where Everton did not even win any of the games. This is clearly shows that he is not used to playing at the highest level of football. 
he's never even won anything or was ever in a group of a Champions League so clearly he would not win it in his first season ever being in it. Moyes did get to the quarterfinals losing to Bayern Munich to put that into context Klopp's first year in Champions League he finished bottom of his group. Moyes only had two, only had two of his players signed Fellaini and Mata for a total of 70 million what well, around the time is a big amount for, of money however Manu clearly overpaid and one new player for Moyes until Christmas is just a joke he, need, he needed his own players and if people want to moan about the players he did bring in well look at Van Gaal he signed lots of bad players however two players Moyes signed was good players Moyes did only one only Moyes did only regret one thing he did at Man United and that was not carrying on a member of staff he did try to keep Rene, Rene but who rejected it and Moyes already let Mike go however managers now take the whole backroom staff so it would not be unusual to do that nowadays in conclusion Moyes was not given enough time and it was unfairly sad this is the start of Man United's fall ever since this one bad season one bad game and the fans are begging for managers to get sacked. This has broke our history of giving managers time and we will not rebuild history in this way. And now we're with Oli, we're starting to give him a chance. If I was the boss and the owner of Man United, the Glazers, I would have given Moyes more than one season at least. He had to see how it goes from there. Let me know what you, the fans, think. Hopefully if I get enough comments I'll do a follow up video. Thank you all. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel where there will be lots more videos. Thank you once again. This has been Alfmeister, signing out.